This is insane. Hey there, how's it going? This is Malta. That is the capital of Valletta out there. The beautiful, iconic, domed church there. And today I'm going on a boat cruise to the islands of Gozo, Comino, and Blue Lagoon. So the island of Gozo is where the arches, or was, the uh, Azure window, it was called, until it collapsed two years ago. A scene of Game of Thrones was filmed there, and it is unfortunate that uh, it collapsed, and Malta here lost a uh, tourist uh, site, but there is a lot to see other than that uh, on this uh, tour. But uh, that island, Gozo, is where that arch was, and we're going to be going to the uh, Blue Lagoon and see more of Malta. So I am stoked to uh, get out here, enjoy this amazing day, and explore this incredible Mediterranean paradise. So let's see if this is the boat. Hello. Hello. Is this the right? Right. I'll see you some boat. So it's Luzu Cruises, 40 euros, but I got it for 35, and it includes a three-hour tour of Gozo and free open bar oh yeah so there's Gozo there's little Comino and here's Malta Northern California, in the yeah. US. How about you? Italy. Uh, France, France, Italy as well. We live in the UK. Cool. Where? Uh, London. Okay. Nice. Italy, you said? Yeah, but I'm living in Dublin. Oh, cool. Uh, what about you? Dublin, yeah. Dublin as well. Yeah. And where are you from? Italy. From, uh, from Middle East, too. Okay. Uh, this guy dreams about being in California. Uh, well, yeah. one day I'd like to move there. I'd like to New York and Florida. Nice. Bro. There's a lot I'd to see. To, I know, I'd love to move to us. More than just the beaches, you know? No, no. no I mean, nature's really good. And yeah, good. So like Yosemite and exactly. Tavo. <laughs>
Stay cool, you are back to Norway. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, sir. 20 minutes, you said? 12 minutes to be here. 12.20? Yes. Cool. You have time. Okay, thanks. I don't know what we're seeing here. Inland Sea. A tunnel. Tiny little like lagoon thing and then a tunnel to the uh, sea, I guess. You are here, tunnel, open sea. And there's the tunnel and you can see the sea out there. Victoria in the middle of Gozo Island. We have 90 minutes here to explore around and I am hungry for some lunch. So going to poke around a little bit. This uh, elderly couple here has an interesting little viewing spot. Watching the action go by. And apparently the uh, main cathedral is up ahead here. So walk up here and take a look. The Citadel. Maybe that's what he meant. Our uh, tour guide pointed in this direction. Check this out. This is some seriously ancient history here. Bronze Age silos. Sometime after 2500 BC, at the beginning of the Bronze Age, the people that fortified the hillock upon which the citadella now stands started to raise their huts and to hew silos for the storage of food. Access to the city was originally up a steep flight of stairs, and so this is more recent history, although still old, but not as old as these uh, silos. Access to the city was originally up a steep flight of stairs from the main square of its suburb that during Arab rule became known as Ir Rabat. The steps were replaced by the present steep street Il Tel... I don't know how to say that. The city approached in 1864.
This is the town center. And uh, lots of uh, eating options here. Let's find a place. And this is a different little plaza here. Traditional uh, plates, yeah. Maltese, yep. Cool. Okay. Can you check whatever? Great, thank you. A local, local one is. You have it, yeah? Chisk is one? Yes. I see. I'll try the XL. Cool. And I will try the uh, rabbit ravioli and roasted vegetables on the side. Thank you. Rabbit ravioli. 11 euros. So the beer that I got is a low-carb beer and I can taste the difference which is to say not much taste to it so it was just a, a random pick it was Sisk XL I thought that would mean like better but uh, I guess it means better for losing weight or something awesome a question how do you say thank you in Maltese oh grazie okay cool thanks grazie Thank you in Maltese is grazie, same as Italian. And there you go, rabbit ravioli. That looks delicious. And some veggies. All right, gonna dig in here. Four of broccoli from here, okay? All righty, thank you. Have a nice time. This is the Blue Lagoon. Please. All righty. Thank you. Sounds good. It is tourist mayhem here, but it does look beautiful. Wow. Damn, this is insane. I am definitely going to find other parts of Malta in the coming days. Rent a car and get out on my own and find some less crowded spots. <laughs> All right, I'm going to uh, do a hike. There was a cool looking old building back up there, so. Get away from this madness. And then uh, come back and do a quick dip. We have 90 minutes here to uh, hang out and then head back to Malta. Oh my God. That's a little better. So there is the building that I'd seen from the boat. And looks like I can get there uh, in not too uh, long of a walk here. Epic landscapes, incredible. Sorry about the uh, wind noise. I accidentally left my uh, windproof case back in my room. So uh, normally then that would help uh, filter out that wind noise a lot. But anyways, uh, this is stunning. Look at that thing. It's like, you can see the uplift at a straight angle there. So we'll do a hike and then uh, head back to the water, take a swim, cool off, and then we're heading back to the uh, harbor where we started this morning.
harsh landscapes. It'd be tough living off the land here, but that's what the sea is for. There are uh, no rivers or lakes on Malta, so they have no fresh drinking water. The drinking water here is desalinated seawater. I wonder what they did in the old times before they could take the salt out of the sea. Really cool tunnel there. Wild. I can't tell if that's an island or sticking out from the uh, island here. And so this is the island of Comino. The tiniest of the three islands of the Malta Archipelago. I think the uh, key for Malta is to come here in the off season. It is late July and as you can see it is crazy packed. I'm sure in like October it would be a lot mellower and also cooler temperatures. So that is not an island. Awesome though, other than all the people. Wow, check this out. Intense. Incredible Malta. And so that tunnel goes from down there through this and out here. But it is closed on Sundays. Today is Sunday. Oh well, nice view. Sport candles. I would not want to try to get out of here without them on these super sharp rocks. I just wish that I had swim goggles. I bought some in Menorca, Menorca Island, Spain and they were five euros and they broke after like one day so i uh, gotta get some new ones and of course always make sure you have a uh, climb out spot i'm figuring right over here it's a little 
little bit sketchy, but uh, these waves aren't bad, so it'll do. Gotta put this camera away, though. Made it out, heading back to the boat. That was an amazing, amazing day. So, uh, it's Malta touristy. Yes, it is very, very touristy, but it is worth it. It is totally unique, beautiful, mind-blowing, and if you want to get away from the tourist crowd, then just take a walk somewhere and you will find amazing places to yourself. That's it for this video and uh, more coming from Malta.